What is going on everybody? Welcome here today to another NBA 2K18 2019 realistic rebuild and today we are doing the less popular LA team, the Clippers. So you guys know me by now, I kind of enjoy realistic rebuilds a little bit more. I had a lot of fun doing the Hornets one which was the last one we do so, or last one we did. So if you want to see another one, let's see if this video can hit maybe 1500 likes and I will do, like I plan on doing at least 25 teams before the season starts. Like I'm still excited to do the Grizzlies one, that's going to be fun. I still think I have to do the Jazz, have to do Dallas. Dallas, that's going to be a fun one. Still have to do Denver. Uh, maybe the Pelicans, I'll do. Um, I probably won't do the Rockets in a realistic rebuild because I think I already did their mellow rebuild. Uh, maybe we'll do Portland when the uh, time comes. Maybe Washington. Uh, Detroit, that one's going to be tough. Indiana, that one will be fun. Uh, I think I still have to do a Brooklyn one. Orlando, Miami, Atlanta. Yeah, we got a bunch left to do. So uh, I think we have about a month till 2K drops, around a month. So. It's very exciting times here, and yeah, so we are doing the Clippers rebuild, which I'm excited to use some of these players. Like, obviously, we have a lot of point guards and a lot of shooting guards, and I'm actually going to send Jerome Robinson, who is, what, the 12th pick, to the G League. I just don't think he'll find any playing time, so I think he'll serve better in the G League. Obviously, if we can be bad this year and somehow maybe unload this contract, that would be nice, because obviously, at the end of this year, we're going to have to pay Tobias Harris like 26 mil. It's about what he demands in this game, but good thing is we don't have any other roster spots that are making a lot of money besides Gallinari so once we get rid of him we'll have enough for a max deal at one point so um Kawhi usually resigns I would go after Kawhi but yeah he always resigns there's nobody I'm going to be trading right now um at the deadline I might look to maybe move an Avery Bradley or actually not an Avery Bradley but maybe a uh, a Beverly or definitely a Lou Will at the deadline could be traded so I'll let you guys know if I make any trades at the deadline at the end of the season and yeah, let me just make sure Shy Gilgis is getting some good minutes. Like Mike Scott. Yeah, let's let's swap them. We can do 10 here. And let's do 25 here. Good. And then let's go 36. Um 28. And then we'll do 27. Alright, so that's gonna be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we get a nice draft pick, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And Lou Will might not be on the team by then. Okay, guys, so I actually sent Lou Will across town to the Lakers for their first this year, but it's lottery protected, so we're gonna get it. I think next year, because they actually I think didn't make the playoffs. I don't know. They were like a borderline team when I traded for him. And yeah, so and we also got Michael Beasley in return. So obviously they wanted another shooter around LeBron. And I'm sure I'll make them better. I, I think it makes sense. LeBron, on be a second team. Don't think we're going to see any Clippers anywhere. Uh, Shai just could make on be a second team. No uh, all-rookie, I meant. He did not. We go 36 and 46. Oh, my God. The Lakers didn't even make the playoffs. Oh, my God. They were bad. Okay, they were not this bad when I made the trade with them. They were actually like an 8 seed, 7 seed. And they have kind of just fallen off. Wow. All right. Um, okay uh yeah so we were gonna have we're gonna have like the eighth or ninth pick in the draft which is pretty solid there's tobias galinari uh shy gill just probably will be starting next year beasley gortat yep nothing special i did move uh muba mute to small forward he goes up to an 80 jerome robinson's a nice 77 very nice and yeah i don't really care who wins it all and i'll see you guys with probably who wins it all all right guys so the raptors win all kawaii finals mvp they'll be playing us in a couple of years which is nice uh hopefully at least so we have nobody, I don't even think, retiring from our team. So, lottery. Maybe 2K will be nice to me and give me some luck. Uh, we are projected. Okay, so we're not getting pick 7, obviously. Ugh, 10. Yeah, we're not getting up there. All right, so we have the 10th pick, and the Lakers get very lucky, and LeBron's just going to have the number 2 pick in the draft. So, yeah, I'm sure that pick next year won't have any value. I'm tempted to fire. No, they just re-signed him. You know, we're not going to fire. We're not going to fire Doc, but we are going to fire our GM. We are going to hire Owen Masters, and then I'm going to fire our trainer. Derek Irving and hire Jimmy Lynch. Just no hard feelings. We just got to make it done. All right, so we have the 10th pick in the draft. I don't really want to move the Gallinari contract to move on from it because, like, I don't see a point. I mean, 22 mil for us to move down from, like, pick 10 to, like, pick 15, not really worth it. I mean, somebody may take his 20 million salary. I could throw in a young player. Maybe, like, the Hawks would take him if I threw in, like, a sweetener, like a Montrezl Harrell, we could see. I don't know, though, what we're going to end up doing. So, I, I think I'm just going to straight up make the pick, and I'll see you guys with who I take at pick 10. Alright, guys, I promise for the next realistic rebuild, I will not draft this guy, because I think this is two in a row. We did draft him in the Hornets rebuild, so, yeah, we did take Bobo pick 10. I took him over Nazir Little. I feel like a center, kind of, the free agency market isn't the best. I mean, the trade market is pretty nice for centers, but I, I just felt like definitely going out and drafting him. So, we are going to bring back Beverly. Uh, yeah, we're not going to make a play in free agency either, because we just got this 12 mil of trash. 
here. Or like, I mean, Tedo Sitch, I could probably find a team that would take him. Definitely not Wesley Johnson. So actually, I think I can find a team. It's a one-year deal. Uh, he's a backup point guard. Let's just see if a team's... I'll, I'll take two seconds. Or I'll take a second round pick for Teo Dosic. Uh, I think a team would definitely give it to me. Come on. Some team that needs maybe a backup. Utah seems to be very interested. All right. I will take... Now, nah, I feel like a first round's too much. So I'll take a... I'll take two seconds. I'll take two seconds for Teo Dosic. And they agree to that. So we ship him off to Utah. Uh, about a couple hours northeast. And... I think that's northeast from LA, Utah. I hope it is. That's not. I'm kind of stupid. So I would like to go after some of these guys, but I'm not gonna. They really make no sense. Unless, yeah, DeAndre Jordan. I mean, Marcus Sauer, like Whiteside. Damn, we could have went after Whiteside. Uh, we could have went after Whiteside. And I could have drafted Nazir Whittle. Damn, I'm stupid. Um, I'll save him for the next one. Um, unless what we do is we could start playing Tobias Harris at small forward. I mean, he doesn't have to play power forward. And it's, oh, he's a, fr oh, wait, never mind. We're not going to have any money because, yeah, we got, we got to pay this man. Uh, Muba Mute, I would like to bring back. Um, I'll give you three mil for two years. Anybody else? Move, uh, Gortat, you can walk. Decker and Beasley, yeah, you guys can walk. So Tobias doesn't have a deal yet. I mean... If I'm willing to play one of these guys at power forward, I don't really think Bull Bull and Whiteside would really work at power forward center in today's modern day. Millsap? No, I'm just going to bring back Tobias now. I'm going to give him 26 mil for four years. We're going to front load this, and then we'll see what happens next reason to you or the year after. I know Paul George in two years could be something that, um, because the LA ties, that could be something. We'll see uh, how long this takes us. So we do get Muba Mute, and we get Tobias. We're going to renounce rights on Morjanovic, Gortat, Scott, Decker. Evans Thornwell maybe I won't do it on Beasley yet well after we get these guys we'll have 11 people on roster then I want to see kind of how many more roster spots we need stuff like that because I do plan on Bull Bull starting so if we take a look at our team we have about one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah okay so we're good with players i'll see you guys at training camp so player progression i kind of want to just show this uh robinson and alexander is both 77s i don't know like i definitely think alexander could be a starter for us on a championship team i don't know about robinson i could see robinson being like a sixth or seventh man i don't know like in real life maybe but not in this game he just doesn't progress the best so i'm fine with another down year if they're willing to give me that and i can go out and draft a small forward or something like that or a power forward and then we can move to buys that. I don't want to take Wiseman again because then we'll have the same exact front court from the Hornets one. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, he's definitely off my list. But maybe a Vernon Carey would be interesting. Charles Bassey though. But I don't even think we're going to get that high of a pick. So we're going to go to training camps. And once Gallinari's contract's up, Beverly and Wesley Johnson, that's 11. That's 33 mil. We have enough for a max deal next year. Uh, if anybody maybe has LA ties. So we're going to send Alexander on top potential. Same with Jerome Robinson. And then same with Mr. Who has the first same first name as last name, Bull Bull. Uh, and let's advance to the next season. So, um, I, I do want to show you guys the player contracts first because, like I said, um, yeah. So here we have a lot of expiring deals. Avery Bradley as well. I mean, I like him, but he's got a demand for too much money. Next year, he's a good defender. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how our salary comes because we only have one big free agent and Tobias, and his contract goes down in the next four years. So yeah, and I mean, we don't have to pay Alexander, Robinson, and Bull Bull for another three to four years. So maybe I will give Avery Bradley 10 or 11 or 12 mil, and then we still would have enough to go after another free agent. So let me show you guys the rotation. Uh, Alexander, Bradley, Gallinari, Harris, Bull Bull. Hmm, I'm tempted to do this. Uh, no, no, uh, this. I think I'm going to do this. Um, Gallinari, you can be the six man. You can get 24 a night. Beverly, you can get like 18. Mabam, Mute, you can get like 15. And Troy Daniels was the last guy in the rotation. No, definitely uh, going to be Mr. Jerome Robinson. So Jerome Robinson, you're going to get 15. Eh, you can get 16. Bump you up there. So uh, Harold, you can get like 29 minutes. Bull Bull, 32, 36, 34, 32. Uh, we'll do 32 here and we'll do 33. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we're bad, but hopefully like... Bull Bull, Alexander, and Harris play great this year, and Robinson too. We were bad this year. We were the 13th seed in our conference. We ended up going 31 and 51. And Bull Bull wins rookie of the year, though, which is, I guess, one of our few bright spots. But yeah, we were bad. Hey, Montres Harrell, most improved, 13 and 8. Did very well as a starting power forward. I don't know if he is capable. I mean, if I get a stud shooting guard, maybe we could start him. Because um, his per 36 number is really good. And his numbers in how many minutes were really good? 30 minutes. Pretty good numbers. Two assists, eight rebounds, 13 points. 
uh, about a block a game. Oh my god, the Raptors went 73 and 9. Yeah, you, you already know how good they are in this game. They're insane. I'm just looking for some Clippers. Uh, I'm not finding any. Whiteside re signed with the Heat. Um, Bobo, all rookie first team. And no Jerome Robinson on all rookie second team. Uh, it's kind of upsetting. Uh, we are going to be having, what, the fourth, about the sixth or the seventh pick in this upcoming draft. So Charles Bassey is probably out of the equation. 19 and 7 for Harris. We saw Bull Bull, there's Shad Gilgis, 14 and 5, also steal and a half, there's Harold, Bradley, Galinari, Robinson, ugh. Yeah, like I said, I don't think he's going to be able to start for us on a title team, maybe a bench player, but nowhere near a starter. Points per game, we were fourth worst, allowed points per game, we were pretty bad, we were the 15th, we were, about, uh, we were the most average team in allowed points a game, so yeah. I'll see you guys with who wins it all. So the Warriors win it all, I'm guessing they beat the Raptors, no, they actually beat the Bucks in six games. Now, I do... I'm hoping for the best come to the draft lottery. What are we going to be projected? Six or five? Uh, five? Okay. Come on. Please give me luck. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do the Lakers with LeBron in the sim get the third overall pick after having the second pick last year? Dude, what? And I guess that we will trade. Okay. Well, that's amazing. That's amazing. I don't care really anymore. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, you can't make this stuff up, folks. You cannot. Picks one and two. How about that? How about that? Oh my god, okay. Well, this just took a, a turn for the better. Oh my god, we picked one and two. You would not, I would not expect that. If you would have told me a minute ago when I was like, alright, we're gonna have the sixth or seventh pick. No, you're gonna have picks one and two without doing anything. I would have been like, what? And the Lakers were this bad? Lonzo, Barrett, LeBron, Kuzma, McGee, Ingram, Lou Will, Isaiah Thomas, they signed Hart, Lopez, Bonga. How is this team bad? Okay. I mean, I guess I'm glad they're bad. Let's get a new assistant coach. Ooh, Larry Drew. Let's steal him from the Cavs. And I kind of want to fire... I don't know. I kind of want to fire um, Doc Rivers. We could go after Rick Carlisle in LA or McMillan. You know what? I'm going to fire him and we're going to sign Rick Carlisle. We're going to sign one of the best coaches in the league. Mo one of the most underrated. I think him and Bolnholzer. I think actually Carlisle is a top five coach hands down. I would say he's the, the fourth best in the league if you want to go, or third best. If you want to go one and two is Pop, Stevens, three, four, five. Could be something like Kerr, Carlisle, Spolstra would be in there. Um, and then I know I'm forgetting a couple of people. Like Dwayne Casey is a really good coach off the top of my head, but... Um, yeah, he's definitely a top five coach in my opinion. So yeah, we have picks one and two. What do I do? I'm not going to trade this, but I want to see what I can, what, what's like some of the offers. Bradley Beal. All right. What happens if we throw up the number two pack on, and like Richard Mubam Mute on the trade finder, Jabari Parker, um, Kevin Love. I don't know which ones would make sense. Josh Richardson's an 81. Okay. It's not too bad. I mean, it's contract. It's actually, it's not that bad as I thought. Um, I don't see him in the market for a small forward or a shooting guard. Uh, there's nothing special. The third pick in Thad Young. Gary Harris and the 10th pick. I don't know if they'd be willing to move him. And I don't even know if I'd want him. He's not good in this game for some reason. Um, getting a lot of centers. Draw McCollum. Honestly, this kind of makes sense for them. But that, I feel like giving them the number two pick for McCollum is kind of, kind of high. I feel like we should be getting more for that. Like if we were looking at shooting guards that are maybe like leaving... Um, let's see. Oladipo wants to re-sign. DeRozan just signed a new contract. Uh, Bradley Beal kind of wants to re-sign. Milwaukee just re-signed him. Uh, Jalen Brown just got paid, it looks like. I mean, McCollum, do I really want to give up the number two pick for McCollum is the thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of questioning it. I'm kind of questioning it. Or we could just build through the draft and then we can use the cap space because we're going to have some. You know what? We're going to do that. And yeah, so I'll, I guess I'll see you guys with who I'm taking. I think I'm definitely taking Charles Bassey. I have no idea who else I'm taking. So with the number one and number two pick, I did take Sam Cunliffe, who is going to Kansas. I just fucked him up. And Charles Bassey, who's going to Western Kentucky. See the next Mitchell Robinson. But yeah, I'm happy. I obviously was going to take Bassey over Wiseman. I did not want the same front court from the Hornets video into this one. And I was thinking of Quentin Grimes or like Cole Anthony, because I've seen them be really good in this, but... Uh, I chose, I, I'm glad with these two picks, and wow, I can't believe we had picks, like, we had three and five going in the lottery, and we lucked out so much that we had picks one and two, it's rigged, it is rigged, uh, we did get LeGuent Dort, 
didn't draft him. It was auto-generated or auto-drafted. So, Shai Gilgis, obviously, we're going to bring Begging back. He's going to be our starting point guard. Same with Robinson. Pritchard, sure. Um, this free agency class, unfortunately, isn't really good. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, Kemba's here. Hmm. Do I want to pay Kemba Walker a lot of money? We have $58 million in cap. Uh, Draymond is going back to the Warriors. Al Horford's going back to the Celtics. Brandon Ingram will go back to the Lakers. Uh, Brogdon, we could get into the, that, but I think we're going to save our money for next year. Bradley wants 22 mil, um, and somebody actually gave him that, the Nets. You are really stupid, because I was going to give him a one-year deal worth 22 mil, but I'm not outbidding, or outbidding them. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want a backup center, um, and a backup point guard, uh, in free agency. So, center... Who could be a guy on a one-year deal? Plum, Weasel, or Tristan Thompson. I'll bring Tristan Thompson out to LA. We'll give him a one-year... Um, hold on. We'll give him a one-year deal worth of 10 mil, about. And then, um, I think, I think I'm going to bring... I think, I think. Yeah, I can't believe I said that twice. I'm going to bring back Patrick Beverly on a two-year deal. Uh, we'll do a we'll do a one-year team option, a two-year team option deal with him. So... Yeah, we're going to bring these two guys in. Gallinari, see you. Wesley Johnson, see you. Bradley. Oh, my God. I forgot Harrell. Okay, no. I would like to bring back Harrell. I see. Wish I knew he was a free agent. Okay, so before I sign... Wait. Do we already have two power forwards? Oh, my God. Wait. Okay. Well, I'm going to move Tobias to small forward. He's going to be small forward. Um, Yeah, I don't... Okay, I'm not going to sign Thompson just yet. I would like to get Harrell. Please tell me he didn't sign. Okay, he didn't sign elsewhere. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, a team option thing. For like a one year, I'll probably decline that next offseason and then revisit. Oh, he signed with Dallas. Damn, that's a bummer. Um, I'm not gonna re the rights in case he pops up again, which he does. Of course he does. So we're gonna do the same team option deal. We'll do it for like four. Uh, we'll do it for twelve mil, twelve and a half mil. I think's perfect. So yeah, we get him, and I will see you guys at training camp. So Charles Bassey is also a five guy, a uh, five star prospect. He's from Nigeria. Uh, he, I think he's committed to Western Kentucky. I'm pretty sure he's committed there. So I'm going to download the 2021 draft class. I think we could be good this year. Um, next year, we're going to have a lot of money to spend in the offseason. We're going to have all these players developed. We could make a big trade. We could make a big signing. Um, still going to eye maybe uh, a shooting guard next offseason if we want to make a trade or sign somebody. I could throw Jer Jerome Robinson in deals, stuff like that, um, depending on how Cunliffe does. So I'm going to send Cunliffe. I'm going to send Bassey. And I'm going. I'm excited to see Bassey, and I'm going to send Shy Gilgis to, oh yeah, to these untapped potentials. And I forgot we have Bull Bull as well. The youth movement is definitely upon us here in LA. And yes, so we have Alexander Cunliffe, Harris. I'm going to throw a shooting sleeve on him. Uh, Bassey, Bull Bull, Beverly, Harris. Okay. Um, no, who's going to be the ninth guy? Uh, ooh, Mubam Mute kind of regressed. So I'm going to give him like 11 minutes. Um, Beverly, you're going to get like 17, I would say. Uh, Harold, you can get 25, 20 to Robinson. Let's go 32 to the front court. Let's go 35 here. Um, let's go 34, and then we'll go 34 as well. So that's going to be for me now. I'm actually going to send Pritchard to the G League, or no, I'm going to do Dort. And yeah, that'll be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. They're not projecting us to be well, but I think we can definitely make the playoffs. If not, then next year. I know, I think that we can make the playoffs this year. So we're fighting for a playoff spot right now at the start of april it's us the lakers and who's the other team dallas is in this i'm pretty sure there's another team fighting for a spot uh but yeah we're here oh my god yeah there is a one game spot between the three and the eight seed or a two game spot now so come on we have to oh we have the warriors and rockets to end the year great uh it's two l so we fall to the seven seed which i'll take yeah the pelicans were also in there so the lakers have yet to make the playoffs in this video which is just hysterical so 14 and a half points for cunliffe Five and a half rebounds, 3.8 assists. I will take that. I had 34% from three. Hoping it was a little bit better. Parker, six man of the year. I want to see who they got there. Davis, defensive player of the year. Quickly, most improved. Coach of the year, Nick Nurse. Are we going to get a clipper? Uh, yeah, next year is better be the year we win a title. Or I'd uh, like at least compete. No clippers. Besides, we do get Cunliffe and Bassey, who averaged a double-double. I'm surprised he didn't win rookie of the year. On the first team, there's Dumbia, Wiseman, Matthew Hurt. Jackson, Javon Carter, Mo, Mo Wagner, um, Dezan and Musa, and Landry Shaman, who didn't even play. He looks like Trey Young. He basically is Trey Young in that picture. So we are the seventh seed. First time making the playoffs. Taking on the Suns. 
who signed Malcolm Brogdon. I like that. Help out the defense in the backcourt. Booker, Warren, Bender, Aiden. Jackson off the bench. Bridges, Ta Kyrie Thomas. Uh, represent him, Doug McDermott of Creighton. Player stats, Harris led the team in points. Bull Bull, 16 and 9. Bassey, 16 and 10. Three and a half blocks between the two of them. There's Cunliffe. Alexander, five and a half and six. Five and a half assists. I hope he gets in like the seven range by the end of this video. There's Harold, Robinson, Beverly, and Mubamute. Yeah, Mubamute's regressed enough. He's probably off the team next year. I think his contract's up anyway. We were 21st in points per game. Allowed points per game. We were actually pretty solid. We were 8th and we were or we are 18th in point differential we were the last positive team with a point one so all right let's get into this game one um uh where are we at uh we are the clippers <laughs> yeah i don't know what i was thinking of so game one here i don't think we're gonna beat them the suns are usually good in the sim but hey we do win game one come left drops 18 game two we lost okay bull bull drops 28 harris 22 game three ooh, we lost by nine game four uh we win okay we win by two and game five uh we're down three to two and i bet you we're gonna lose in six if we do okay so i mean paul george is a free agent i know that and the thunder i mean we have the la ties but it's like where would we play him because we have harris at small forward bassy at power forward come at shooting guard i mean we could play him at shooting guard but that means cunliffe is gone because or he's out of the rotation. I mean, he'd be a pretty solid six man. So maybe that is the case of, for something for us to do. Because I really don't want to trade Tobias. And wow, the Lakers really had another water pick at 12. So we have the 18th pick. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, staff signing. I'm good with everybody. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know who I'm going to take. I'll honestly just let the CPU do it. Because why not? We'll see who they take. Get me somebody good. PJ Fuller. It's a point guard. All right, he'll probably be in the G League. I'm not going to sign Stan Snow. Uh, ooh, we, can, we can get him to a two-way contract. Actually, I'll do that. And Baker. Um, why can't I get him to a two-way but not him? Maybe you can only do one at a time. I thought it was maybe because they're both second-round picks I could. So we're going to bring back everybody. Yeah, Harold, we're going to let walk. Uh, maybe see if we can get him for a cheaper price. But yeah, we're going to bring back everybody here. Beverly as well. See if we can get a cheaper price on him. Um, but yeah, Bobo, Robinson, and Alexander. Let's bring back. Paul George has opt out. If he has zero offers, I'll offer him. I'm not going to out try to outbid the Thunder because then that makes no sense. But if the Thunder don't give him a deal, I'm going to offer him a contract. So let's see. Paul George has one offer. Okay. But, hmm, Gordon Hayward has zero offers. I mean, I think this is like a win now move. Maybe Boston, they want Tatum. They just don't want to re-sign him. I think we're going to sign him. But the thing is, can he play shooting guard? Can he play shooting guard? Tatum's also here. Boston, I've paid him, but then they clearly don't want to play Hayward. Uh, Bucks are paying Giannis, and yeah, Thunder are paying George. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to give him a two-year deal, a three-year deal with the team option, and we're going to give him 33 mil per, but we're going to front load it. So it's early. Uh, yeah, so that's a lot of money, but we have it. So we're going to pay him that. And then if we look at our guys that we have bird rights on, Harrell, and then Beverly. We might have to renounce the right. I don't think I can bring back Harold for that much. But maybe Beverly. We'll see. Because um, obviously I'd, I'm going to choose Gordon Hayward over Harold. So we'll see what happens. So after this day we get all three. So we get Hayward. Oh we can actually sign all of them. Let's go. Yep let's go. So we get Hayward. Welcome to the team Gordon Hayward. You're going to be playing some shooting guard for us it looks like. Beverly and Harold. We just added a 90 overall to this team. We were just a 17. We're on the rise. We were the only team to pay him a lot of money. And he was like, yeah, I want to go play in LA. Let me go play in LA. Um, so yeah, you can play Utah a lot this year. So yeah, that'll be interesting. We kind of awkward. Santiago used to. Shout out to that Spurs rebuild that I was terrible at. So I'll see you guys on player progression. All right, guys. So player progression. Hayward's in 90. Alexander's in 85. Harris, 85. Bobo, 82. Uh, Bassey, 81. Robinson, 81. There's everybody else. So, yeah, tell, whatever Dort that guy's name was, he's up to an 80, like, or 79, but I don't think he's going to play because, obviously, we're just going to replace Muba Mute with Gordon Hayward. So, we are going to auto-generate the chef class, team player, or training camps. I'm going to actually send Combo Guard to help out. Maybe he'll get more assists to Alexander. Um, we're going to send Untapped Potential to Bassey, and we're going to send... Um, perimeter shooting to do i want to send it to gordon hayward now we're going to send on tap potential to uh bull bull as well so yeah cunliffe will be the six man him and robinson beverly will be off the bench and then we'll have harrell as well so yeah Gor uh, gordon hayward's gonna be playing some shooting guard harris there at small forward yeah this is a really tall team six 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 eight six nine six ten seven three 
pretty tall team. Come if you can get 26 a night. Uh, we're gonna give 18 to Robinson, 16 to Beverly. Uh, no, just kidding. 14 to Beverly, 16 there. Um, okay, 32 here, 32 here, 32 to the front court. We're gonna go 34 to these guys, and then we're gonna go one more to Hayward and one more to Alexander. So that's gonna be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Okay, 10. I mean, I come like this at 10. 2K Sports likes us at Jesus. Um, 29. Okay, and Mark Spears likes us at 10. Hopefully, we can maybe be a Dark Horse title champion this year. So, we just ended the regular season with one game better. We were one game better than the Warriors, and we got the one seed in the Western Conference. Rick Carlisle, Coach of the Year. Let's go, baby. Aiden, Defensive Player of the Year, Bridges. So, they got some nice awards here in Phoenix. Isaiah Todd, Rookie of the Year. Dude's a beast. Imagine we had picks one and two in this draft. We could have got him and, like, Zare Wade. Oh, my God. Because they're in this draft class, they're insane. Um, I don't know if we're going to get any Clippers. Maybe Gordon Hayward will sneak in. Now... If we are a disappointment this year, I might think about trading Tobias Harris. Uh, it might cross my mind because, I mean, he hasn't lived up to his contract. Like, oh, my God. DiVincenzo just got his first rookie year. Jeez, it was that hard to find playing time for him. All right. Well, yeah, I'll keep that in the back of my head. We're taking on Phoenix here, so they don't have Brogdon anymore. They've added Wiggins. Did they really just trade Wiggins for Brogdon? Uh, that's definitely what they did, which makes no sense. So they got Eli Okobo here, who's not good in this game, uh, but his overall solid. Booker's at 95, 8 and 87. Then they have Wiggins, Josh Jackson eh, off the bench. That's kind of crazy, but yeah, we're taking them on in round one. Here are the stats. Hayward, 18 and 7. Harris, 17, 5 and a half. Bubble, about 17 and 10. About, we'll say, if you round up. Bassey, 14 and a half, 10 and a half. Uh, they had three, point, three and a half blocks a game. Um, Alexander, 6.6 .6 assists. That's his highest. I'll definitely take that. And there's Cunliffe as a six-man, Robinson, Harrell, and Beverly. So the defense off the bench was still pretty solid. Points per game, we were ninth. Allowed, we were fourth. And we are first in point differential. Uh, hopefully, we get past the first round. And yeah, we lost game one by 16 points. Okay. Uh, I did want to check out Al Horford was traded for Austin Rivers. Dennis Shorter was traded for Jabari Parker. Wait, I do want to see who's starting at small forward there. Because he won six-man. Yep, Brogdon for Wiggins. If I go to the Bulls, who is starting at small forward for them? Is it? It's marketing. Okay. Well, clearly, I don't know how Jabari won six man of the year unless they decided not to move him at small forward, which would make sense because 2K is really stupid. All right. We win game two by four points. Hayward drops 19, 18 for Alexander. Bassey, there's Bull Ball. The front court. One's an 84, one's an 85. Game three. We pick up the dub. All right. We won by 18. Tobias drops 33. Hayward 24 and 12. Let's go. Game four. Damn it. It's two to two. We get blown out in this one. Game five. We're up three to two. Let's go. We win this one by 24. Bassey drops 29 and 17. Harris 25, 6 and 4. In game six. Oh my god, we lost by three. Here we're 24 and 7. Bassey 19 and 14. And we win in seven. Let's go. Okay, we win this one by 23. Bassey 28 and 10. Alexander 23 and 5. And yeah, now we're taking on the Thunder, which is gonna be a little bit rough. I do want to simulate a game just to see their team, but we win by 10. Hayward and Bassey with double doubles. Oh, yeah, they have Jabari Parker now, Westbrook, still have Paul George. Game two. I mean, our big men are so much better than their big men. We scored 64 points. Jesus. Game three, we win. Oh, come on. Can we just go up three to one? Don't make this a 2-2 series. God damn it. Why? We lost by five. Game five. Uh, we're up three to two. And, you know, we win by one point, which is amazing. But I bet you, I like, I can bet so much money we're going to a game seven. Told you. I, I would, like, oh Oh my god, it's not surprising. Game 7 in LA. Please don't let me lose this. Come on. There we go. Let's go, baby. We win by 9 points. Alexander 21, 15 and 11 for Bassey. And we're moving on to take on the Rockets in the Western Conference Finals. Game 1, we pick up the dub. Let's go by 13. 32 and 13 for Bull Bull. Capella, they can't take this combo. Game 2, let's go, baby. We're up 2-0. I think that's our first 2-0 lead of the playoffs so far. Give me Orlando, too. Orlando's up 3-0. Damn it, 2-1. Don't let them tie this up. Yes, we're up 3-1. to one. Let's go. Win by 7. Bassey with 24. Harris with 23. And game 5. Game 6. Yes, we win in 6. Okay. We won by 3. Melo dropped 28. Harris dropped 22. What happened in game 5? We lost by 6. Uh, Bull Bull and Bassey are beast. So we're taking on Orlando. This is the final se series of the final season. They got Gordon at power forward. Bamba. Goran Dragic at point guard, it looks like. But he's not having a good playoff run. Fournier. Isaac, plethora of forwards, Zeller, Scotty Barnes, 
uh justin jackson unc no this is the maryland one and melvin frazier game one they beat us by 30 what i feel like we're the better team and they're up 2-0 we lost by 13 game three we went okay by 13 we need to win game four here and we lost both games on at home too come on we got to win both games on the road come on we need a big fourth oh, we're down by 15 all right we're down three to one and we needed them to blow through on weed all right game five here in la we're not winning this are we i want to get you guys some gameplay before the video ends though all right so we're in the game down by 11 unfortunately so you know let's kick it to alexander now let's get a screen from bull bull let's go to the rack there we go there we go uh alexander uh we're down by nine with two minutes i mean it is possible for us to come back i'm not gonna say it's guaranteed but it's definitely possible so they got jerome robinson in that shooting guard i wonder no tobias harris did not foul out okay uh, they're gonna try to go to in the post. Isaac does not scare me from three. I mean, he can shoot. How is that not a steal? What? All right, I'm double teaming. No way. Jesus, Aaron Gordon. Come on. You really gotta hit those tough shots. All right, Gordon Hayward. You wanna hit a three? Because we kind of need one. Um, if you hit this three, it'd be an eight point game, which is still okay. Well, the screen didn't work. I really don't wanna kick it to Jerome Robinson. Tobias Harris to the rack. Please. Oh, it's a miss. Oh, no. And then, okay. Nine point game, a minute 30. We definitely need a three. So Gordon Hayward, I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna go to you because I don't really trust Jerome Robinson out here. Um, from three. Oh no, Tobias is in the game. Bassey and Bull, Bassey's not in the game. Uh, and Jerome Robinson's in instead. So I guess Aaron Gordon's base. Draw just gonna hit that, isn't he? Oh, he missed. Come on, get the board. No, really? And they get a fresh 24. Come on, no way. Um, please tell me Bull, Bull get the board. Okay, there we go. Uh, we gotta run quick. Robinson, go to the rack. Uh, Tobias run there we go great great cut all right it is a seven point game with a minute left yeah we 100 percent need a three-pointer next play but we need to stop though if we can not make them use like a lot of time that would be big but who knows cody seller okay oh still that um okay bomba and he got fouled <sighs> i fouled him oh he's probably gonna be good at free throws i don't know we're at home though so maybe he'll miss one damn it all right well that's probably it we needed a miss and unless he misses both Come on. Oh, first one is wet. Second one, please be a miss. Please be a miss. Please be a miss. Damn it. Yeah, we make some both. All right. Uh, don't call a timeout for me, please. Uh, we're just going to run a quick uh, three-point play with Gordon Hayward. And this is probably do or die. If he misses this, it's over. If he makes it, we'll have a tad bit of hope. So, Gordon Hayward. All right. There we go. It is a six-point game with 42 seconds left. That means we need two more threes. I'm going to probably go to threes here. So, Tobias Harris, you're going to get the next one. And then we'll go to Gordon Hayward again. Uh, so, but we need to get two stops, which is going to be tough. Isaac does not scare me. If they're going to try to go in the post here. All right. Um, get that steal. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, so I, don't be a charge. Okay. That was a blocking foul. Mm, okay. Damn it. Well, we're not going to get a two for one, unfortunately. Uh, but Isaac is sleeping. Tobias, why'd you have to be so far out? Get the board. Kick it out to Tobias. One more. Mm, okay. I need a quick screen uh please get an n1 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 somebody found me you missed the layup oh my god we got a steal okay we call timeout um we're gonna have to hit a really quick three all right yeah the, we're, there's no way we're winning this game i was just about to throw my controller but somehow we got a steal damn it that's a bias harris three i needed him to be closer to the line because he got open like isaac was nowhere near him it's just i was so far out which kind of sucks so i'm gonna just try to do a quick play to gordon hayward and you know it's not gonna work but but we'll try it we'll try it we'll see what happens here um oh my god from way downtown why not uh alexander okay yeah we lost uh figures so finals mvp was aaron gordon so that's gonna be for me thank you for watching hope you guys did enjoy uh for these realistic rebuilds i like to just at least make it to the finals and yeah so i'm excited to see which one is next let me know in the comments which team you would want me to use next and yeah thank you all for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next video peace